it's a throbbing, vibrating noise which builds up to a peak every so often and then settles down again, then builds up again and can't be pinpointed anywhere. I actually heard the hum myself and it is weird. It is a very, very weird, low, bassy humming sound that's there. Can you uh, give us a, a sense of what it sounds like? Yeah, I'll, I'll try my hardest for you. It's like a it's that sort of a sound. On Sunday it was at its peak and it was vibrating, you could feel it through your body. And then it starts to die down again and then you feel it building up again. It's like the village has been cut in half. This end doesn't seem to experience anything, uh, but from midway downwards, the further down the village you go, it seems to be more and more. Um, some theories is it's the mines and it's the winds whistling through the mines. The mines are 40 foot deep, so you're not going to be able to hear that. Um, so I have no explanation for it. Um, I am going to look more into it. I'm Angela Sun. Welcome to the Yahoo Sports Minute. The old saying goes, you see something new every time you go to the ballpark. In the case of Monday night at Tropicana Field, fans heard something new, and it was a little scary. That's a haunting sound, if we've ever heard one. And what could that possibly be? Somebody shut the door. Can you hear that? Saturday and then there's this strange noise outside it was it was off and on my mom originally heard it I think it's been on going for I don't know I'd say maybe an hour close to an hour or so full moon had passed Kind of sounds like maybe an ongoing like engine or high winds in the distance or something. It's my alleyway. I don't 
it's about 4.57 in the morning. It's my block. I don't know how well you can hear this, but it's pretty loud. As you can see, the sky is pretty much clear. Uh, I can't tell if it's coming from Manhattan, which is that way, east, or what direction, because I guess the sound is like bouncing all around, but that's not my neighbor's garage. My neighbor's house, this is my house, and uh, yeah, the sound's been constant for a while now, so I'm just going to quickly cut this video and uh, see what happens later. It's um, 5.07 and the noise has died down a lot but it's still pretty steady. I'm up on the second floor of the house. Um, it's brighter out, still nothing in the sky. Um, steady noise. Moon's still out. It was a cat. Again, the date, Saturday, May 21st, 2011, 5.10 a.m. If uh, anything changes, I'll make another video. Let's see if the phone will pick this up. Let's just show. There's no planes.
No planes. It's a loud annoying noise. And it's coming from like everywhere. Okay. It is loud. So we can hear it out here. You can still hear it. About a year and a half ago, uh, my wife and I were sitting in the front room during the evening and we noticed that we began hearing and feeling a very loud vibration outside. Uh, we really didn't acknowledge it at the time, but a year and a half later, the vibrations and the rumblings have become so intense that it's disrupted our daily lives. Uh, the rumblings begin almost immediately in the morning and proceed throughout the evening getting stronger in intensity. Um, it's hard to kind of say uh, where we think it's coming from, but we know that it is coming from the west side of Windsor over into the industrial area. I live in South Windsor. Uh, we started hearing some of the rumbling noises in about February. Initially, I thought it might be something related to uh, a loud bass or subwoofer in someone's car or maybe uh, an idling truck, and I kept looking for that, but never saw anything of the sort um, and then in time I started noticing greater frequency and patterns particularly in the evenings um, where this noise was occurring and uh, it really culminated in an incident uh, at the end of May, May 31st I was watching a, a basketball game and it was incredibly loud the vibrations you could feel them coming through the house and, uh, and through the windows we went out to see what it was and it was just so intense and as a result of that, I, uh, I got involved. I contacted the ministry, ministry of the Environment to find out what the issue was and to find out what they knew about it and uh, made some uh, further efforts to, uh, to get the federal government to provide some monitoring equipment. And I understand that equipment has been here now for, uh, for at least a few weeks and looking forward to seeing what kind of uh, data comes from that equipment. I don't think it'll answer all the questions. It might tell us a little more about the frequency of the noise when it's occurring and maybe it'll uh, help some people to uh, to identify the source. We're really hopeful because uh, it's a real disturbance and uh, there are a number of neighbors in my community who've been disturbed by this noise. Decided to get together with some residents, visit their homes and uh, and start pinpointing on a map exactly where these uh, these vibration rumblings uh, noises are coming from. Uh, last night around uh, between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. I visited those homes, visited some areas and uh, it was a real um, strong uh, vibration that had come from the ground. It was a synthetic noise. It's really there. Um, you personally experienced it? I this. personally experienced it. I, I sat and, and the person of the house at the time shut off the air conditioner, shut off the furnace, shut off the water uh, main, shut off the electricity and turned everything off and around the house and uh, if you put your palm to uh, the hardwood floor you could feel uh, some sort of synthetic, uh, synthesi synthesizing uh, uh, a little bit of a noise vibration. It's very weak. Uh, it grows a little bit but it's consistent and it goes back down. Uh, it's real, it's there, it's present, and I think that this issue needs to be taken uh, much more seriously. And